Good morning. We are here at um, the Trevalier Pot Star on our way to Makala National Park. We had a just a little stopover at Kuru last night. Didn't go for much of a drive or anything, but it was very lekker. Always is. We're back there at the Kuru National Park again at the end of our trip. But for now, we're just gonna stock up on some meat here from the from the pot stall, and we're on our way to to Makala National Park, which we are both very much looking forward to. Um, it's a stinker. It is a hot, hot day outside. I'm not even sure how many degrees it is, but we're feeling it. It's warm. We're in the shade. And it's time to put on our masks and head inside. So, we have just arrived at Makala National Park. It is quite a warm day, it's about 37 degrees outside. And um, we are going to make our way to our spot at Harkensteak. Harkensteak is this lovely, isolated, secluded spot in the park with a campsite and then a guest house that sleeps for. Just on the way in, you're driving past all of these game farms. So, we've seen plenty of game already. So, we have to wait and see what the park has in store for us. Right now, we just need to check in at the gate here, do the COVID screening and all of that stuff. And then we'll be on our way into the park. Since it is situated in quite an arid part of South Africa, the movements of animals within the Makala National Park are generally dictated by the presence of water. Harkins Dirk has its own private borehole pumped waterhole that attracts animals from miles around. There is a constant procession of animals that come down to drink and because of this you really don't have to drive anywhere to go game viewing. You can simply sit next to your fire with a beer in your hand and you can expect to have very fruitful game viewing. This is one of the reasons why I love Harkins Dirk so much. Sure, so it's about it's about quarter to eleven um here at Harkins Deck and I was just outside among the acacia trees taking some starlight photos. Hopefully they came out well, but the highlight, the reason that I'm like shaking is because I was out there alone. So each shot was at a shutter speed of thirty seconds and I had all my tor torches off. So in between shots I heard some rustling off to my one side and as soon as the, the photo was finished taking I turned my torch on and there's an aardvark and uh, anyone who's been to the bush knows that seeing an aardvark in the wild is an incredibly, incredibly rare sighting. I tried to fling my camera on to see if I could get some footage of it but there was no chance. Couldn't actually get any footage I don't think but wow, what a sighting. Hawkins Dirk really has delivered. Um, we've had rhino, we've had buffalo. And now we've had an art park right here in the camp. You don't even need to drive at this place. It's so flippin' amazing. I don't even know what to do with myself. I can't breathe. <laughs> that is, I'm super, super chuffed. Yo, let's see what the morning has in store for us. It's time for me to have a shower and get to bed.
Good morning from Makala National Park. Um, it is our first morning here. We had an awesome night last night. Me, me in particular, I saw myself an aardvark, which was awesome. Uh, we're just going to head on a drive now, and then after that, we're going to go do uh, one of the guided walk slash drive things. I don't really know what it's called, but we're going to be going and looking for some sand rock art, which should be pretty interesting. We've got another night here before we leave. Um, heading off to Marikele National Park but for now we just have to enjoy Makala National Park Last night uh, here at Makala National Park, we've got four minutes to get back to our campsite at Motswedi campsite, which is very nice. But we've only got four minutes left, and we've got about I think five kilometers to go, so we are going to be late. We were delayed um, by some by a herd of roan antelope in golden hour. Beautiful. They look like Star Wars characters with like overly big ears but it doesn't matter it's a rare species that you struggle to see elsewhere so we're super stoked to have seen them now we just got to make it back to camp i think we've got a briar coming up hopefully something comes down to the water hole i've set my camera trap up last night i saw an aardvark and at the water hole we had janet and we had some buffalo and we also saw some rhino in the distance, but let's see what tonight has in store for us. Right now, our, mo our main objective is to get back to camp. Tomorrow, we leave for Marikele National Park. We're just stopping over there, pretty much. Um, that should be good. Anyway, we will see you in the morning. Cheers for now. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, to comment, and of course to subscribe to my channel for future content. Once again, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, cheers.